Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in our previous video, we discussed about the basic architecture of the web table. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss that how you can locate a column inside a web table. As I told you earlier, whenever we perform any action on the table, it will be at the column level. Okay, so this is a sample table. Let me open my Firebug. So we'll drag this and select the heading. So if you look at over here, this is the table tag, which is used to create this entire table. And as I told you, it can have other attribute also such as ID, class name and so on. Now, if I expand this table tag, we have T head and T body. The T head represent the heading. As you can see here, it's being highlighted. And the T body represent the data which will be displayed inside the table. If I expand the T head, it has a single row because there is only one row required to create the header. And for that, TR tag is used. And if I expand this, you can see here there are multiple TH tag which represent individual column header. So this is the first column header, second column header, third, fourth and so on. Okay. So similarly in the body part, which is being created using the T body, as you can see here, the entire table body is being highlighted because of this tag. If I expand here, so you can see here, there are multiple rows and for every row, there is a TR tag. So this is the first row, second, third, fourth, fifth and so on. And inside every row, there are one, two, three, four, five columns. So here we have five TD tag. Okay. So every row will have five TD tag. So now if I want to perform any action on a column, first I need to locate it. And for that, I'm going to take the help of XPath. So the approach will remain same. First, you locate the table. Okay. After that, depends upon whether you want to deal with the column header or you want to deal with the body you will select the head and the body and after that based on the row and column you are going to select the column so if i consider this example so first i need to select the table so i will use slash slash table at the rate id equal to this So if I copy this and paste it here and validate it. So as you can see here, it is able to locate the table. Now let us suppose I want to find the X path of first row and first column, which is this one. So for that, first I know I need to go inside the T body because the column is present inside the body. So here I'll put slash slash T body. Okay. And I will validate the text, this X path. So if I check for this X path, so it is able to locate the T body. Now, as I, as I told you, every, every column will be present inside the row. So first of all, if I want to select this particular column, I need to select the first row and the column. So inside TR, so this will be TR. And if I validate this, so as you can see here, it has selected all the rows. So whenever there are multiple selection, in order to select a specific one, we use the concept of index. So here, if I want to select the first row, I will use the index as one. If I want to select the second row, I will use the index as two. Okay. So whenever there is a, a multiple element get selected based on the X path, you can differentiate between them based on their index. So here I will use the index as one to select the first row. So if I do this, as you can see here, it has highlighted the first row. If I change this to second index, it will select the second row. 
and so on. So our target is to select first row and first column. So till using this X path, we have reached till first row. Now, as we know that the column will be in the form of TD. So I will use this X path. Okay. So as you can see here, it has highlighted all the columns. And again, whenever there is a multiple selection based on the index value, you can differentiate between them. So if I use one, it is going to select the first column. As you can see here, there is only one matching node with this X path. So this is the X path of first column. Okay. Now, if I want to select the second column, okay. So all I need to do is change the index to two. So this is the X path of second column. Similarly, this is the X path of third and fourth column. Okay. Now let us suppose I want to select the third row and third column. So this is the X path and this is the third column. So this entire X path will select first row and third column but our target is to select the third row. So in order to select the row, I just need to change the index for the row. So this will select the third row and third column. So if I do the validation, as you can see a third row and third column. So if you observe the X path closely, so this will be third row, third column, this is the fourth row, third column. So if you observe the X path closely, I can select any row and any column based on the index applied. Okay. So here for me, this part is row and this part is column or you, or I can say that column index and row index. Okay. Now, so my X path remains same. The only way to differentiate between the row and column is to supply the row index and the column index. So now this is a generalized X path for this table. And by just passing the value of row index and column index, I can select any column inside the grid or the web table. Okay. So, so far we have seen that how you can select any column inside the body. A similar logic and mechanism will be applied if you want to select anything inside the grid. As I told you, the grid heading will be in the T head table. So the X path remains same. The only thing which is going to change is this, which will become T head. head. And also instead of TD, it will be TH. You can remove the index here because as there is only one row inside the T head or you can use like this also. This will also represent the same row. So this X path and this X path are same. The only difference is that between this and this is that it is going to select the column from the body of the table and this is going to select the column from the header of the table. So let's say if I check for this X path it will be the first row and third column as you can see here so in this manner you can select the column which is present inside the table all you need to do is to supply the proper row value and the column value so that's all for this video and thanks for watching